If you don't get a personal best in competition, does that mean that you're not improving? Ah, PBs! The life force of any self-respecting athlete. Tsunami Sweet! Tsunami Sweet! <laughs> Competition is you taking it to 100%. Beyond all that stuff like public performance and praise and reward and opportunity that gets attached to competition, block all of that out and for you as you, is just a place where you can do your best. The problem is, how do you rate your best? Is it participation? The result? The effort? Participation? It's a little left wing. What? Everyone gets a medal on sports day? There are no losers? It's a terrible idea. It makes us weak. I think I have to agree to a point. Just taking part isn't good enough. I'm sorry, it isn't. So, is it the result? Because that's a very right-wing idea. But that view's not without its problems. See, it encourages people to find races of a lower standard so that they can win, and it discourages them from entering competitions of a higher standard because they're going to lose. It can be a pretty horrible paradigm. So is it the effort? Well, yes, to a point. See, effort is an individual and relative phenomenon. I mean, if you can win easily, then that is less effort, but why shouldn't you feel happy about it? And on the flip side, do you really think that the best just keep ratcheting up the effort to get better and better over time? Let me tell you something. That's a fiction. There's a falsehood that's put out by the successful that they put in more effort. But that is nonsense. It's literally scientifically untrue. Now, I don't usually throw around the science in this type of video because a lot of it's just open to interpretation. But this is just plain and simple body chemistry. Elite and non-elite 5K runners run at about the same percentage of maximal intensity. So they're basically trying as hard as each other. The difference is the elite athlete produces a bigger output for the effort. And here's the mind bend. The elite guy gets the bonus of doing it for less time because he's faster. Whereas the slower guy has to go relatively as hard, but for longer. So that tells you, if you're serious about your competition, you're putting in the same effort when you start out as you do when you're a seasoned pro. The only difference is, you'll have a bigger engine. Right, so that's that. No, wouldn't be an Aesop's view if there wasn't a curveball. Well, in this case, I've already thrown a curveball, so this is more like a secret counter topspin that I'm about to add. So, how do you rate that you've given your best You've given you 100% if it's not by participation, result, or effort. You realize that your 100% is changing all the time. It's a fluid concept. It changes your sleep, it changes as you eat, it changes as you live. Your 100% is in flux, it's not fixed. When you go to bed, your 100% is obviously lower than when you wake up. That's why you sleep to recover. So accept that your 100% oscillates in a day, every day. Think about your maximum for the day, not your maximum ever. Let's call it your daily maximum, not your absolute maximum. Now if everything's fine and you've got no problems, then your daily maximum is probably going to be somewhere between 95 and 105% of your absolute maximum. So when you finish the race, and before you start beating yourself up about not getting that PB, when you're doing your post-mortem with the result, pause. Then grab yourself a calculator off the nearest bean counter and work out the percentage that you just did of your maximum. Now you know this is true. The guy's got a best of, let's say, 11.35 and he drops an 11.42. He's not happy. But that's like 99% of his best ever. Pray tell, in what other test or exam would you score a 99% and have the emotion of disappointment. If you performed at 99% of your best in any job, you'd be employee of the century. They'd never be able to get your picture off the wall. So it's really important to compute the level that you compete at in comparison to your best. Now, let's just say that you produce a performance that is a low 80%. 
Either you're on the comeback trail after injury, or you're about to go down courtesy of the people's illness elbow. So then it just becomes a sign that you're not operating on all cylinders. That's just feedback. And in fact, the percentage tells you that there's no point in competing at the moment. You need to recover and then go back into training. Then you just consider that competition 80% as a benchmark and you look for a conservative improvement of around about 1% a week. In the worst case scenario, you're back up to your best inside of 20 weeks. And just run this through your database for a second. Take Mr. Bolt. Now he came good in 2008 with a new PB after an injury ridden 2007 World Championships where he got a bronze. He then got another PB in 2009. And after that, he hasn't PB'd in the last seven years of competition. In fact, he's been in a slow decline, but do you think that he goes to bed at night disappointed that he didn't get a PB in 2011? Yes, now of course, he's got other ways of measuring his success. But the lesson might be, use some different yardsticks, because PBs are great when they turn up, but kind of like porn star girlfriends. They're probably not that dependable. I probably can't draw that conclusion because uh, it's just a job. Maybe really loyal. I don't know. Whatever. It's not the point. The point is, don't trust PBs and, and eat your greens. What is more important and consistent for your sprint psychology and more within your control is to ask yourself, am I learning more about me? Because if you're learning, you're improving. You've got to find the lesson in every result. And in order to find the lesson, you've got to participate. Ooh, so the left and right both do have something to offer. You just have to have the wisdom to balance it. Well, I haven't strictly said it, but what the hell? I hope this helps. Bust me a thumbs up, because let me tell you something. Yep, away in the comments, babe, dare to share, and some sort of rhyme that got something to do in, in the notify button, I don't know. If you like my vibe, please subscribe. <laughs> Hit the notification to get new information.